Southern dry down was recently held in Luxembourg. The average moisture content was 73.1, and that means farmers are still quite a bit away from starting their corn harvest. Here are some tips to easily check how far along your crop is. So when we want to check moisture on corn silage, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, first, you want to go out and harvest a bit of the field one way or the other. That can be either by hand or using your forage harvester. A lot of farmers uh, just tend to let the forage harvester go once they take it to the field, so I would recommend a hand check first. Once you have a sample, chop it up. Even a sharp kitchen knife will do the trick. Then you need to dry it. The easiest way to do that is to send it off to a lab. They're experienced and know how to do it, uh, but you wind up waiting for a sample to come back when you do that. Uh, another way you can do is you can use your home oven in some cases, although your family may not be all that appreciative if you leave it run for 24 hours uh, to dry the sample down. Uh, you want to dry it a little over 100 degrees, maybe 100, 150, something like that. And it, it generally takes, you know, half a day or better. Uh, you can also use commercial products like Kester forage testers uh, or other things to determine moisture, plant moisture content. And finally, there's a way to do it with a microwave. So you can take part of that sample, put it in a microwave on high for three minutes, take it out and weigh it, and then keep putting it back in on medium to low power for an additional two minutes until that weight stabilizes at a certain number, and that's going to be your moisture content. Experts say you should be targeting 64 to 66 for a quality harvest. When you check the moisture, the general rule of thumb is in the fall time in Wisconsin, the, the corn dries about a half a percent of moisture content per day. Uh, so if you checked it and say you were at 75, wanted to be at 70 or 65, somewhere in that range, 64, uh, you would have probably you know, 10 to 15 days to wait. The closer you get to that number, uh, the closer time you're going to get. But you can take a good guess at it based on that half percent per day. You can ruin a, a lot of silage if it's too wet, right? So um, there's, there's a lot of issues with the feed quality being bad uh, and in siling going bad as well that will, uh, that will cost money in the future because the cows aren't able to eat it or utilize the feed properly. If you're interested, there is also moisture testing happening on Monday, September 30th at Door County Cooperative in Sturgeon Bay.